Now, let me ask you this, uh, Mr. Vice President. You and President Enes Bayakoroma were very good friends. Uh, you went to visit each other's house when you were uh, uh, allies and in government. You won election together, he chose you as his vice president and all that. What happened? How did you fall apart? That's a million dollar question, but that led Al Qaeda to precipitate it to the cause. He wanted a third term, which was unconstitutional. And I did not subscribe to that. You know, people are denying that, that he was seeking additional terms. And that, um, you know, the foreign minister has been chosen by the APC ruling party to contest as a presidential candidate to, you know, to replace him when he hands over power smoothly. So they said he's a Democrat through and through. Peter. Talk to me. Let me say this to you. I know Listen. Koroma better than you. True. Based on the fact that uh, he did not succeed the third term, the world knows that he t decided to also have an extension of two years. That did not work. And then he also pushed for a six months. It did not work. But he got away with two weeks to add to the, the day he's supposed to end over. And that having been, and, um, me out of the way, because the thought of uh, getting me out of the way, we are preparing his ambition of third term. Now, the people of the Sierra Leone populace and the national community frowned at it. And they said that uh, elections will be conducted and we have to go according to the Constitution. And that speaks by volume. You, you left the country under certain circumstances, you know, but what makes you think that going back to Sierra Leone to contest the, presidential, the presidency uh, for, you know, political parties will be made smooth? by the powers that be, if I may ask you. I will go to this question, but let me just uh, retract a little bit. Okay. I never abandoned my station. I never abandoned my country to go to seek asylum. Kuruma announced that I had left my office and I went on asylum. The next day, the American ambassador sent out a press release that I never went to the American embassy fact that I was under quarantine, if I had gone on an asylum at the American embassy, then the entire embassy should have been quarantined. That's true. They didn't add up. I said to them, uh, you guys acted foolishly because I would never went to the embassy. If oh. I had gone there, it could have been quarantined. Oh, okay, now, back to, to my your question. question yes. now, mm -hmm. To your question mm -hmm. of, uh, if I, I did go back to Sierra Leone in April of this year and went and registered. And I registered and then came out. I said to my people that no fighting, although there were issues when I went in, I resolved them peacefully uh, without any uh, uh, falling to their trap of uh, trying to coerce me into any difficulties. And I love peace. Peace is the foundation for everything that I do. So, so realistically, what do you think th your chances are if you are allowed to run for the presidency next year in March? There is no encumbrances not to allow me to run. As I speak, I'm the leader of the Coalition for Change. CF, C4C. C4C, correct. Right. I am the leader for the Coalition for Change, and I've been bringing a few political parties together so we can all come in and have the opportunity to fight the menace that we have, a dictator.